This upcoming week in Black Ops 4 should hold some promise here to it. It is something that as of right now recording this, I'm on the final leg of a vacation that I'm on. So it's pre-recorded by a couple of weeks. Hopefully that statement still stands true. I'm assuming that we're going to be getting some stuff here that falls in line with how I think it will. But today I want to take a larger view at something that's coming a little bit more in the future here. It's not necessarily up on deck this week, but a little bit further out. That being the third DLC pack for Black Ops 4 or depending on how you look at it of course it can be the fourth introduction of dlc because we've had three other operations beforehand that give us brand new maps in multiplayer but still regardless we have a larger title update looming outside of even if something is coming this week for contracts and hacienda twilight and other goodies that may be along with it so with that today i want to take a look at everything you can expect to see outside of just this week but also the bigger picture things coming in the near future so today we're going to break down all of that here and of course if you're interested in anything black ops 4 call of duty related maybe consider hitting that subscribe button we do daily stuff here on the channel so if you're interested in any of that no pressure but a little suggestion there if you guys want to stay up to date with all sorts of stuff cod related the options there but regardless let's just jump right into it firstly a little clarification on what we're talking about here today because in this intro you might have caught on to it i addressed it as dlc3 and well in terms of an mp standpoint this is actually our fourth introduction to new mp maps we had beforehand elevation and madagascar after that lock up and casino and then this operation with Spectre Rising, we had Masquerade, Artifact, and WMD. But I'm saying DLC 3 because it would be right around the time when a third DLC pack would be introduced in a previous game. And plus, when you take a look at it, it's actually our third introduction into Zombies. So more so cumulative and overarching umbrella of content, I'm just addressing as DLC 3. It is theoretically, yes, in some regard, DLC 4, but just for little housekeeping stuff, that's why I addressed it as such. Firstly, let's start with the date. When can you expect to see this? Well, Operation Spectre Rising gives us this date actually in particular. Not outright, you have to do a little bit of calculations and a little bit of math here to figure out the date itself, but it'll bring us to July 9th. That Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll see Operation Spectre Rising, or rather Days of Summer as it's visually shown in the Contraband stream. We'll see that change over at that time to the next operation, still yet to be titled obviously, and what may come along with it we'll get into, but July 9th is that date in which you can first expect to see it where you can start to get a little anticipation about a week beforehand as well so the week actually coming up after this one as of next tuesday i'd start to expect some dlc information to come out or some teasers from call of duty's twitter treyarch's twitter and maybe even playstation's twitter at that but we'll start seeing some things lead up to it until that date of launch of july 9th outside of that though we're gonna have a lot of content coming across the main three modes of mp blackout as well as zombies and actually surprisingly there's actually content for all three of those for once the last operation we ended up seeing just the gauntlet introduced for zombies but we'll get there in a second there's actually some stuff coming along with that but let's talk about the mp front because i'm sure a lot of you guys are more focused on that stuff since you probably play mp more than zombies or blackout here but that said in mp we're gonna get a lot of different things naturally Firstly, let's talk about it because we're probably going to be getting a new specialist. So right now, there are a bunch of things that could indicate a couple of different things. One interesting thing that was found recently in the game files as of the Days of Summer update, the initial update for that, was that there looks to be some assets that looks like some sort of jammer. Which when I first looked at this, I was really confused because we have obviously Zero who has a specialist equipment like that, but it is probably something that may be for the next specialist character. Possibly Reaper, he's another character that's up on deck for being a specialist added in it might be something of a power core style thing where it temporarily blocks things from being activated not necessarily hacking and switching around the control but simply just like an emp style thing but reaper is a possibility in terms of who could be coming to the game as well because he's actually in the game files already there's audio files and other assets that indicate his arrival as well as blackjack but we ended up seeing that along with specter he had individual game files listed from zero in their audio quote so those audio quotes definitively for MP, meaning that Reaper does have a really good chance of coming along. So if my money was on one specialist, I'd probably say it's Reaper. In terms of how that works out, because he's a Black Ops pass character for Blackout, well, I think it's probably just going to be a different character model, similar to how we ended up seeing, for lack of a better example, different specialists from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 as their younger counterparts, since technically Black Ops 4 is a prequel, and other things like how you have the Voyage and also the nine versions of the Chaos Story characters, things like that, where it's an altered or different version of that character, but added in in the way of MP for that same right. Talking other content, new maps again will be added in with this one, since it is a new operation launch and new Black Ops pass content 
content will be coming along with that one. If I were to guess, I'm going to say three maps coming here with this one, but I could be wrong. It's a 50-50 shot on that call. But we saw introduced in Black Ops 4 already, two, two, and three with each of the operations beforehand. And we have five more maps left over the course of the next two events here for us that are promised to the players. So we can either see two and three or three and two. It's really a toss up on how that one works out. But personally, I'm hoping we don't get any remakes. I know people were enjoying WMD and I've played it a couple of times. It seems to play decently, but I'd actually prefer not to use something that I paid for for a reimagination of a map that's already been there. I'd much rather there be cooler maps that we get introduced to for the first time. But regardless, that'll be coming as well. We'll also see a brand new contraband stream. Your guess is as good as mine as to what goes on here at this one. Honestly, I think that it's possible we end up seeing another two halves to this upcoming season where we end up seeing two 50 tier streams introduced, one up front, one at the halfway portion. And unfortunately, man, I think that we might end up seeing kind of a lackluster stream again the way that things have gone as of recently with days of summer and of course operation specter rising's first half split we ended up seeing one weapon in days of summer a bribe along with that one we also ended up seeing two weapons in specter rising's initial contraband stream and not a single camo that really bothers me, but it would not surprise me if it happens again here with the new Contraband stream coming up as of the 9th. Now, talking weaponry, again, we have had those three weapons and a weapon bribe across the last two introductions of the Contraband stream we've had, but it wouldn't surprise me again if we see something similar to that and we see even more added in its supply drops. Unfortunately, again, going forward, I hate to see that, but it wouldn't surprise me at this point. By the time of this video going live, we should have more information on contracts, so it is possible we have a little more understanding on if they're put in reserves and if we have a direct route to them or if we don't. But again, as of recording this, I personally don't have that insight just yet, but we'll be getting new weapons either in the contraband stream or even in reserves. I wouldn't be surprised as well if we end up getting a couple of new playlists that are brand new we haven't been introduced to just yet or some fan favorite returning modes that we haven't seen in Black Ops 4 just yet as well, but that's stuff to consider as well. In terms of zombies, let's talk about this here. Let's jump the gun a little bit. Let's hold off on Blackout for just a second because zombies actually has something coming to it. Probably going to be getting another gauntlet as per usual, probably going to be getting a couple of more elixirs. But the big part here at this one is that DLC 3 is going to be introduced within this. The third DLC Zombies map is going to be launching on July 9th, or it should be, again, barring nothing that miraculously changes, or I guess the opposite of miraculously. Now, we know this is going to be an Aether storyline map that will bring us back to our fan favorites of Riktoff and Nikolai, Takio, and Dempsey. Not the Chaos crew. That is done for right now. Might pick back up in Black Ops 5, that theory title for next year after Infinity Ward, but it is something that we have a couple of rumors here as to what's going to happen. It's been rumored for quite some time that Nuketown was a map that was going to be an Aether storyline map, which as a Black Ops Pass map at a DLC 3, I really would hope wouldn't happen because that's something that again would just be a sort of reimagination or revamp and charging people for it. I don't think the community would take too lightly with that. But regardless, you're going to have a brand new map on top of the again, probably already Elixirs and new Gauntlet coming along with it. So a substantial update finally for zombies here out of this one but then in blackout we're probably going to end up seeing a bunch of different stuff firstly we're going to be getting obviously a new blackout character with the black ops pass or we should be but it's also curious because this might be our last one so we'll see if we get one in operation six maybe this is actually one where we don't get one and operation six is that last one but regardless it is very possible that given that each operation has started and granted players a new black ops pass character that it could be the exact same way here but it is rounding out to be that last Last one so it's just a matter of time on when that actually happens additionally i'd expect a brand new map update as of operation specter rising in days of summer how it didn't really add any new pois or anything like that i'm kind of curious if we'll see one added in in terms of a new point of interest or if we'll get some massive dynamic map change again like flooding the map and changing a lot of different areas on a smaller scale not necessarily adding just a big massive location into the map curious to see how that one works out but we're also going to see that then means the removal of days of summer items so get your paint can collecting in while you can those coolers containing 30 paint cans each and with a bunch of different spawns around the map that is absolutely huge for grinding dark matter personally before going on vacation i would have loved to go and grind these out but unfortunately i had so many videos to make that it just it ate up all of my time so as soon as i get back though you best believe i'm going for that i'm grinding all those paint cans so if you get in my way i'm taking you out 
regardless, outside of that, there's also going to be probably some updates for weaponry as well, though. Truthfully told, as of recording this again, we may be coming up on the update that adds these in, but as of recording it, the things like the Tiger Shark LMG, things like the Vendetta Sniper Rifle, those that are in the public forum based off of free-to-play progression, those have not actually been added into Blackout just yet, even though they said they were going to be. So maybe we end up seeing some of these added in, not necessarily these two, hopefully. Hopefully they get added in beforehand, but hopefully newer weapons are also added in as soon as this operation refreshes and the DLC drops. But outside of that, that is kind of everything here to expect that we know of so far and what you can get a preliminary understanding of within DLC 3, DLC 4, Operation 5, however you want to address it, but that is what to consider. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to? Do you want to see a new POI on Blackout? If so, what is it? What weapon would you like to see, either new or returning? What specialist would you like to see? And where would you like to see the zombies characters go? That said, though, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4 MP Blackout Zombies. We got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best place to get connected with us out of YouTube. Frankly, live on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, wherever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. Go on, send out the way. Thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.